everybody! This week we're going to be talking about alternatives to crates. I know um, many of you want ways to confine your dog or provide um, kind of a safe space or a confined space for them, but they, they really don't like their crate. Um, now, there's usually training you can do to fix that problem and get them to be happy in their crate, but sometimes the fastest and easiest solution is just find another um, containment option. So let's take a look at some different options. Alternatives to crates for dogs who like, dislike, close confinement. So who is this for? Um, if you need a confinement space for your dog, but your dog is reluctant to enter in the crate, or they'll go into the crate but they won't stay there happily, um, or maybe you just want more space for them in their confinement area than a crate provides, um, then some of these alternatives might ap appeal to you. Crate alternative number one is just a pen, penning off a portion of a room with portable fencing. Um, in this photo here, that's pancake and a temporary pen that's made with an X pen. That's lightweight metal fencing. Uh, you can find a link to an X pen on our recommended products page on our website. There are lots of different kinds of fencing though. Um, so shop around a little bit. Here's another example with a foster dog um, where there's an X pen fencing that circles around um, the table and under the table is the dog's crate. Uh, here's an example from our online Facebook community. This is some lightweight plastic fencing. Um, this looks like it might be made purposely for pets, although you can find this kind of fencing also um, made for kids' play pens. So that's another good option to make a confinement area that's bigger than a crate. And this is Pancake's um, original, or almost original, safe zone. Um, and the fencing you see in front here, it's not closed all the way in this photo, but that is um, actually steel. It's um, sort of play yard fencing that's made for kids. But it's pretty sturdy, and um, that's what I used to fence off Pancake's area. So you can see here he has a corner of a room that's fenced off for him. All right, so that's pens. Um, another crate alternative is to give your dog an entire room um, and just fence it off with a baby gate or some kind of gate. Uh, here's an example of um, one of our team dogs, Coco. This is uh, her mom's bedroom, I believe. And um, they have a three panel baby gate up and they actually have some, um, they have food and water funnels there for a pet sitter because um, Coco is not friendly with strangers. Now, often I hear the objection that um, your house isn't set up well for baby gates, like the openings um, between rooms are too wide or it's too open concept. Um, here's an example from one of our wonderful um, Confidence Builders Club members. Um, here she's covering a wide um, entryway with an X pen, another kind of X pen. That's another angle there. So X pens come in various lengths and you can almost always find one that's wide enough to cover any opening, although that's not your only option, certainly. Um, here on the left, this is from that same uh, member. That's a folding uh, wooden gate. And um, on the right, that is, um, those are two baby gates stacked on top of one another. I think they're pressure mounted. Um, so for those of you who are really worried about your dog jumping over a gate um, or, or over fencing, a lot of the X-Pens and other fencing and baby gates do come in extra tall, 41 inches or so. Um, most dogs will not jump over that. But if you have to, you could stack pressure mounted gates like this on the right so that um, really most of the doorway is covered. All right, last crate alternative is a large fabric playpen. This is pretty different from the other two alternatives I showed you because it's more like a crate. It's not that big. Um, the photo on the left here is an example. And I apologize, I only have stock photos of these. I couldn't find my um, photos of these from, we used to use these for kittens in kitten kindergarten. <laughs> and I've had some puppy clients that really like these, so I did want to point them out. Um, you can get these in, in several different sizes. Some are actually quite large. I'm not sure that they would be appropriate for a very large dog, so probably better for small dogs. And as you can see, they are fabric, so similar to fabric crates. If you've got a real dedicated chewer, they could 
probably chew their way out without too much trouble. But some dogs do really like these and um, they do have a top. Here's another photo. Uh, you could cover that with a blanket for more sort of privacy or not. So that's just another option if um, a crate isn't working out for you. All right, so those three crate alternatives here in the photo, again, that's more of that metal fencing, that heavy metal fencing, it's steel, um, that makes Pancake's, uh, what we call his sleep palace in our bedroom. <laughs> so you can fence part of the room off, like you see in this photo, so a corner of the room or something. You can give the dog the whole room and gate it off with a baby gate or other fencing system, or you can look into a playpen, like the fabric ones I showed. All right, folks, I hope that helped. If you want to get our tips delivered to your email inbox each week, go to this link at the bottom, dogkindtraining.com slash newsletter, and um, you'll get a link to new material as well as any special deals or new offerings that are coming up. All right, have a great week.